I'm Michal Krachishka. Um, I work for Neutron. I'm a core reviewer on the project. Um, also, driver's team member. Okata was a very short cycle. Indeed. Um, what were you able to get done during this cycle? Yeah, so as, I, as you've said, the, the, uh, the cycle was very short and um, that's one of the reasons that we probably have less exciting features uh, implemented in Alcata. Um, but um, even, even though we don't have any new shiny things, we had a lot of work done uh, that set the stage for the bike cycle. Uh, a lot of foundational work, maintenance work. Um, I think it was a, an explicit decision by the team back in Barcelona to spend time uh, on uh, long-standing issues. Um, among other things, uh, we were continuing work uh, on uh, so-called neutron leap adoption, which is a common library with uh, code that is that that contains common code reused by all neutron sub projects, which we have a lot. Um, also, uh, there's there was some work done on the upgrades front, where we're looking at um, uh, expanding the number of different upgrade scenarios that we support. We already support um, rolling upgrades for uh, neutron agents, uh, but we still didn't have uh, support for rolling upgrades between API endpoints, which is a major problem for operators that want to uh, roll new versions uh, into their clouds, because uh, so far the uh, any major upgrade for neutron uh, requires a total API shutdown uh, for some um, unknown time, um, which is a major problem for obvious reasons, especially for public clouds. Um, we're looking at uh, optimizing that uh, use case, and actually we, uh, we had some prelim preliminary results uh, in this cycle. We, on some testing uh, environment, we uh, checked that indeed you can now uh, upgrade your API endpoints without uh, the downtime. Uh, so that's uh, an interesting one. But there was a lot of uh, a lot of work that is not really seen. Um, major work in how we um, how we uh, design uh, RPC communication between our components. Um, how we uh, access database, some optim performance optimizations on the database layer, the RPC too, so a lot of things that that may not sound too exciting, but that should uh, enhance the experience of users. When I started with OpenStack, so four years ago, I noticed that probably 75% of the questions that people asked were about networking. And okay, now that's much, much smaller. Would you attribute that to better documentation or just overall code stability or what? I think I think the, the project had made a long way in, in late years. Uh, indeed, there were lots of complaints before about stability, about uh, uh, unclear uh, API behavior, some complexities in how you deal with uh, basic use cases. Uh, people were uh, more um, used to uh, the novel way of doing things, where you didn't really deal with uh, the, all the networking complexity. Um, I think a lot of things uh, happened since then, um, both stability-wise and also there were some um, uh, features that were targeting ex specifically uh, the user experience, like get me so-called get me network feature uh, that allows for simple use cases to uh, isolate uh, users from dealing with any networks. They can just start a virtual machine uh, without pre-creating any neutral resources and it magically happens for them. Um, 
um, yeah, also documentation is um, was was uh, enhanced a lot. We we got networking guide um, written, and it now covers uh, uh, and. But the way it's laid is it talks about about specific use cases and uh, scenarios that operators are interested in. So it's like a guide, step by step. So it also helps a lot. So now we're going into Pike. Um, have you have you identified any major things during meetings this week that you think we can expect in Pike? So the PTG just started, so we, we will, at this point, we, we will only start having neutron specific sessions tomorrow. Uh, but so far, the, uh, we had several cross-project discussions. Uh, I think uh, one common point um, is, um, again, before we, we had uh, a lot of basic things not solved uh, in networking world in OpenStack, but now we got to the point where it's mature enough, so we're looking at optimization of, of things like how we interact with external components. There were several discussions with uh, Ironic and Nova, Nova folks uh, about how we can optimize the way we deal so that operations happen more quicker and uh, the, the flow is more stable. So that's one of the um, things that we're going to look at. Uh, th there will be some optimizations on how life migration happens in the, in the cloud. The, the, f the flow is not uh, great right now. So now we're starting looking at the very specific things. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.